So here's a little guy that I've decided to take out. You can see he's got kind of a lean on him. Back that way. He got clobbered when uh, this thing, this Monterey pine broke off and uh, he has you know, died, <laughs> dying, died. There's a little bit of life still up at the very top. Um, he's not too big. I'm not too worried about where he actually falls, but there are trees that I do care about where they fall and they have very strong leans and I've been you know, finding ways to drop leaning trees. I can do a Siswell. I can do a uh, Swinging Dutchman. I can get trees to swing about 45 degrees. I've also done some simulated uh, limb weight on a rope and that gets the tree to fall within about five degrees of where I want it to fall. But an idea came to me, you know, sometimes when you're cutting, the tree will sit down on your saw. And what that is, is the tree leaning into your saw. And so I wondered, what if I do a series of spiraling helical uh, curves? Can I get this tree to swing around so that it drops somewhere over here. And that's more than 90 degrees off of its current lean. So I'm gonna see what happens when I do that. So I've made three curves so far. And I've managed to move the pinch from here to here to you know this area. I'm cutting lots of wood out. Uh, like I'm I'm down to I'm down to you know three inches or so of holding wood. And what I'm worried about is that when it goes, it's just going to go explosively and I won't have time to get out of the way. So I'm not going to continue this experiment. I'm just going to fell this guy. So from here you can see I have changed the lean on it. It used to lean back towards that cedar back there. And now leans between these two. So, I mean, it works. I'm just not sure it's worth doing. So I'm going to finish taking this tree out with a uh, Swinging Dutchman. I am Van De Wally. What that is, is I've intentionally cut past my hinge on the leaning side. And what the hope is, is that when you cut the, the that end of the, when you start cutting the hinge, the tree will settle down into that and it won't be able to fall this way. It's been undercut over here. So it'll hit that lip there and start swinging over and I've cut it to land right there. So let's see, let's see how far it swings over. If it gets stuck in any of these branches, it'll probably roll it further uphill, which is just fine.
keep going. Well, actually, this is kind of interesting. So here I can show you exactly what happens during a uh, swinging Dutchman because it got hung up. See how it uh, landed on that spot and then swung around and started closing on the face here. And I can see now that the reason I got stuck in the branches is my face cut has closed. So I should have made a much larger face cut so I could have taken advantage of the weight better. Well, you learn something every time. Anyway, you can see it swung it over that far. It had been aimed between these trees and now it's falling over here. <laughs> well, that's a fair bit safer. Anyway.